All right, who's ever chipped their gel coat? We're gonna run through how to sort that out easily with hand tools and you can do it at home. So here we have some nice chips in the gel coat at the back of this boat. It sort of slid off its trailer onto the boat ramp. And uh, yeah, it's not, not too much of an issue, but aesthetically it's not that pleasing. So we'll go ahead and sort this out. Right, so the first thing to do is just go through, make sure that there's no loose bits of gel coat, like chips or anything like that. Make sure you yeah, clean off all of the loose bits that are gonna fall off anyway. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and yeah, acetone with a paper towel, this whole area, and then we can put some filler in. The reason you use a paper towel is to use a rag the uh, acetone itself can break down the plastics in the rag and you can actually smear a coat of plastic on and then your gel coat's not going to stick so paper towel's the way to go We're getting to mixing some um, gel coat up. So you, you want to use the um, flow coat. So flow coat itself, um, white flow coat, flow coat itself has a wax in it. And that means that it actually, um, yeah, fully cures on the surface. If you use just a gel coat, it's always going to remain tacky. So you definitely need a flow coat. So what we're going to do is we're going to, because we've got some deeper chips here, we're gonna actually add some Q-cell, just a thickening um, little powder to the first lot that we put on, just to fill those up a bit. All right, I'm gonna have to give that a stir. So I've marked a 25 mil height here, just so that I know um, how much harder to put in this. Um, I use one of these little pipettes, so it's very, very accurate. You know, you can do half a mil or um, even less a quarter of a millimetre, millilitre. Um, so you can get the uh, hardener very accurate, which is important. Um, gel coats and flow coats, um, they do tend to um, cure or, or kick off pretty quickly. So you do need to um, yeah, make sure that your, your hardener is the right um, consistency or the right ratio. Put some gloves on, protect the old hands. All right, normally, normally with a product like this, you would um, add the hardener first and then thicken it up. Um, but because this stuff kicks off so quickly sometimes, I'm actually gonna put a bit of the uh, Q-cell in before I put the hardener in, which will be fine. So I just actually just wanna thicken that up a bit because it's quite, Viscous. <laughs> yeah, so we've got quite a nice paste now. It's about right. So <clears throat> twenty five milliliters. So we'll do a 2% mix. So the 100 mil is two mil. So 50 mil would be one. And then, so we need half a milliliter of catalyst for our 25 milliliters. So it's a very accurate way to measure with these. So we've got our half a mil there. And we'll get that in there. Definitely make sure that that's mixed very well. We don't want any bits of that without hardener in it. So I'll probably mix this for about a minute. So we've got a nice flow coat paste there now.
and it's just really a matter. Oh, no. It's really just a matter of um, yeah, basically spatulaing that into the holes. You try and put it on so it's slightly, slightly proud. Make sure you really press it into the holes. Remember, you don't have to get it all in one go either. It's nice if you can, but you don't have to. Looks pretty good to me. So we'll just clean up our tools now with some acetone. Obviously you can sort of tell when this starts firming up with your spare. So I'm just gonna get into sanding this up. So I'll just, um, yeah, get it roughly to shape with this uh, random orbital sander. Then All right, now that that is sanded back to nearly where we want to be with the power tool, um, I'm just going to use a yeah, block and some wet and dry sandpaper. Um, so this is only 400 grit at the moment, just to uh, yeah, bring it back to flush. With the original gel coat. So it's better to use a block and you know, wet and dry paper to just put the round back on it as well. Because with the uh, plug-in or the power tool, um, it's very easily going to take too much gel coat off. to a 1200 grit and then we can just buff it up after that and we're done so it's not too hard yeah so now that has been sanded with 400 and then 800 and now I'm just about to buff it up with um, yeah some high cut boat polish fiberglass and you can do this by hand you don't need a machine for it Very good. So, it's a lot better. A lot better than what it was. So anyway, don't be afraid to give that a go. Cool, all the best.